Hi there, it's Sharon and welcome to my studio. I am thrilled to be joining Fodder School today for the Fodder School U2 Hub. This is for Fodder School 2 and what we'll be doing today is showing you some of the projects that we created during Fodder School 2. So I'll be joining a bunch of other artists. They'll be linked below so I sure hope you'll check them out as well and showing you these projects. I'll also be showing you some of the projects that I created for the Fodder School 2023 challenge. And what this challenge was, was a challenge right before Fodder School 3 started. And it was a free challenge that lasted for a little bit. And now it's included as part of Fodder School 3. So if you purchase Fodder School 3, those lessons um, from the challenge will be included. If you know me, you know I'm primarily a card maker. Um, I love to use mixed media in my card projects to give it like a little something extra. I also love experimenting with any kind of medium and learning from other artists. So Fodder School for me is just a great way to take a little time every month, kind of get another perspective on using products, learning other tips and tricks from artists, and it's helped me become a better card maker and definitely giving my cards like a little bit of a different kind of style. I'll go through the projects that I've made and I'll show you for some of them where I haven't completed the monthly lesson, uh, where I use the fodder to make some kind of cards, like something a little different than the usual style I make. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's go and take a look. We'll go over to my table right now and I'll walk you through some of the projects. So Fodder School 2 started in October of 2022. I didn't get quite back to October yet, but I did go back to November and the project, I actually finished this one, is from Drew Steinbrecher and this was a chunky board book that we created with jelly prints that we made. So there were a lot of cool tips and tricks and techniques on creating jelly prints. We made this chunky board book and I'll just go ahead and give you just a little peek at some of these grungy layers that I made. I did love these papers and I definitely would love to go back and spend a whole day just making some more of these. I really love the layers, some of the tips and tricks that he gave to get different um, parts of the stencils to show. And just having this book, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it. I'm thinking to add different kinds of quotes and things possibly in the future but I just love paging through it when I need some ideas for jelly printing. The next project probably was my favorite project, being a card maker. These are the cards that we made with Wendy, and I did have to take, I gave all of my cards away as gifts, so I did have to ask my sister very nicely if I could borrow her gift back so I can share this with you. So we used a stencil that was designed by Wendy um, just for the class, but you could do this kind of with anything. And we created these note cards out of some papers that we made as part of the fodder lesson. So these are what my cards look like. And these are just a beautiful gift by themselves. Um, but we also created some envelope liners with the papers. So each of the cards has a matching envelope to go with it. And this is just a beautiful gift. Um, I made a bunch of different kind of sets like this for the holidays. And what I did do with mine um, is actually make some stickers to go on the sets. So I got a stamp from my friend, her name is Bossy Jossie, and I'll link um, her shop. She has a shop and she makes custom stamps. But I just got this stamp made and it says Sharon Handmade Collage Papers and Cards. And I just made a bunch of these stickers to put on the boxes of cards. And these were a gift um, that I truly enjoyed making and I think the people that got them truly appreciated them as well. The next project that I completed um, was January, and these were from Liz Constable. Um, we made some beautiful, beautiful papers as part of our fodder lesson um, with a really cool technique that she shared with us. And I did this for about three nights in a row. I just kept making papers, and I still have a few left. One of the other projects that we did with the papers were make these little clusters 
and I'll show you those. I'll get these out of the way. But we took these papers and made little clusters in different shapes and stacked them up. And I did not make the final project, but what I did do is take the clusters that I made and paired them with some just pre-printed sentiments from Simon Says Stamp and turn them into little note cards. So they just say things like, your kindness is a blessing to me. I'm grateful to have you in my life. You're the best, thankful for you, grateful for everything you do. And then this would be another great set to give as a gift as well, but I'm gonna keep these for myself. I'm, I like to have cards like this just to send out to let someone know that I'm thinking about them. And it seems I was very busy during February, March, and April. Um, I didn't complete those projects, but like I said, I'll go back to them. And the next project that I did complete was the um, stationery type of box that was from Tiffany Sharp. So this is the box that I completed. Um, this is covered with some tapes that I made, some collage papers. Um, it has a flap that opens. I went ahead and did all the papers inside. Here are some of the tapes that we made. We made these great kind of washi tapes. Um, and I made this also as a gift box. So what I did was I made the pattern tapes. I turned my, um, my cards into just little note cards. So these are just little note cards that open their blank inside with envelopes. And then I put together some sentiments. So these are uh, stencils from Megan Quinlan. And what I did was just make little sentiment type of um, strips and I put foam tape on the back. So this would be a great set to give to someone. They can go ahead and um, add whatever sentiment they wanna use, send them out as needed. Here's another one, listen to your dreams. Um, but they're all different designs in here. And it was just a great way to use the collage. And I love that I'm able to send little bits of my own art out there into the world. So this project was really a pleasure for me to create. So everything fits really nicely in the box. Um, it's perfect for a gift or just something to keep like special cards and um, tapes that you wanna have on hand to send things out for on your own. The next project um, that I did, I just made the fodder. This is from the lesson from Karen Elaine, and I only made part of the fodder. I really wanted to try out the shibori paper, and I definitely want to go back and finish the lessons. Uh, but these are what my papers look like, and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with these. I think the final lesson is a book, and I definitely want to push myself and challenge myself this year to try actually making all the projects, but I would love to use some of these papers um, in collage and on cards as well. So we'll see where these go and I'm sure I'll be sharing some project with those in the future. The last lesson of Fodder School 2 that I was able to complete was the August 2023 lesson um, with Ricky and we made some collage fodder, we made master boards, and we turned them into a couple of really cool projects. These were the little scrappy tags um, that we made, and I just love how these turned out. They're colorful, they're super happy. I've just kind of been sticking them in like packages that I send to friends or into cards maybe. They can use it for somebody suggested a bookmark, which I thought would be a great idea as well. And the other thing um, that I did for this lesson, it was something entirely out of my comfort zone, but I'm so glad I tried it, was this amazing snippet roll. And I am not a sewer, so there are a few mistakes on this, but I love how it turned out. I'm not sure what I am going to do with it yet. I might even just hang it up somewhere in my studio. Um, because it makes me so happy to look at. So those are all of the projects that I created for Fodder School 2. So now here are the projects that I created for the Fodder School 2023 challenge. The first one was this pile, and you can see I used a lot of these and I still have a ton left. This was the challenge lesson from Tiffany Sharp, 
and these are her watercolor tropical leaves. So I got some great tips and tricks. It was so fun to play with my watercolors on these. And you'll see, I actually did incorporate these into a finish, another Fodder School 2023 challenge project. But I definitely will keep these on hand. I think they're gonna be perfect on cards. Hopefully I'll be making some more books this year in Fodder School 3. And that's the watercolor leaves. The next thing I created for the Fodder School 2023 challenge were these mixed media tokens. Some of them have strings on them. I think they'll just be cute to add to like a bottle of wine or whatever you like. Um, maybe like a nice bottle of olive oil or some lotion or something like that for the holidays. Um, I'll give you a closer look at what some of the tags look like, but we made our own collage paper and we assembled the tags with them and I have a little bit of this paper left which I cannot wait to use on a card project that I thought of so hopefully be sharing something with that soon as well. The next challenge project that I did was the gratitude medals with Jennifer Pennick. So we created some of our own papers. I combined mine with some stamps from Concord and Ninth. Um, but these will be perfect to put on a card. I mean, I can just put this on like a textured background, put it on the card with some foam tape, and I think these will be great to send off. So always thinking about how I can turn my projects into a card. The next project that I did or for the challenge was the mini tag book with Megan Quinlan. So I used a bunch of her stamps, um, some of her stencils, I added here, you can see some of the watercolor tropical leaves with Tiffany and I need to go back and I want to put some more words inside, but I've put some leaves inside of my book just as a placeholder as to what I want to use when I complete it. So you can see that is pretty much ready to go. And the last project and the last project that I did, um, for the challenge was this mixed media tag little, um, this is just like a little tag display from Shea Michelle. And what I did was use a lot of stamps, um, some card making supplies, some stencils, trace them kind of like the watercolor tropical leaves. So using that technique again, and then just going ahead and putting some quotes inside of my project and that's it i hope you enjoyed taking a look at some of my fodder school 2 projects and some of the projects that i did for the fodder school 3 challenge and i hope you'll go around and take a look at some of the other inspiration that some of the participants have made today and thanks for stopping by